my name is John Garfield. This is the Releasing Kings newsletter. It's September 16th, 2018. This week I want to talk to you about uh, from surfs to surplus, um, just dealing with this uh, idea of, of being effective in the kingdom. I want to mention, the title comes out backwards, sorry, <laughs> but our book is out on Amazon, Seers and Doers, and um, I think you'll really enjoy that. Um, this continues on in that same theme, and this uh, weekend I had a couple of courts and council sessions um, that go with this blog. So the first is on uh, my own personal Courts of Heaven session, breaking off this whole surf mentality uh, thing that we talk about in this blog. And then the second one is uh, called Recovering Spiritual Masculinity, which uh, may make, make that into a separate blog eventually, but uh, the Lord just really started talking to me about uh, one of the things that has to happen in the kingdom is we have to, we men, have to, uh, you know, go to the council, go to the courts. We can't delegate prayer. Uh, we can't delegate intercession. Um, we have to uh, see what's going on in heaven and bring it back to earth ourselves. And that's a spiritual discipline that uh, it, it's a season to step into it. So it's really exciting. So I'm not going to walk you through uh, every uh, detail of this particular blog. Um, one of the things that's really exciting about uh, being a seer and doer in heaven is that our Father not only shows us what's in his heart, but he reveals what's in our book and the resources we can bring back to earth to make it happen. So as a disciple of the kingdom or a son, you have the keys to unlock per your personal storehouse overflowing with everything you need to accomplish your and your Father's purpose from uh, wisdom to healing to finances. Or said another way, as sons, we have access to an inheritance that belongs to us. And we have a father who expects us to use it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Matthew 13, 52 says, uh, Therefore, every scribe who has become a disciple of the kingdom of heaven uh, has keys. He is like the head of a household who brings out of his treasure things new and old. And uh, Galatians 4 talks about how... Uh, as long as a, you know, an heir is a child, he, there's no difference between a child and a slave. But once we grow up, we're no longer slaves, but sons. And as a son, we have access to our inheritance. We're heirs. So the uh, last week, we talked a little bit about the history of surf, serfdom. Uh, for a thousand years, uh, about 80 to 90 percent of, of Europe's population was in serfdom. In other words, they were required to stay on a plot of land and, and work it for their entire lives. Um, and so that's in our DNA. This idea of being uh, left out, of being excluded, of being discriminated against, of being uh, overlooked, marginalized, uh, ruled by oppressive leaders, trapped in a meaningless job. Uh, it's a paralyzing experience or fear that we have no future. And it leads to resignation or just being, being content in whatsoever state I'm in. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. And others sort of view this resignation as laziness. Uh, and in a sense it is. So it's especially wounding for believers because we believe we should have purpose, we should bear fruit and be examples of God's favor. So, um, uh, describing this phenomena and uh, one of the big ingredients is uh, in the parable of the talents there was a servant that uh, hid his talent and he, what he said was I knew you were a hard man harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed so I was afraid and went on and hid your talent in the ground here's what belongs to you that did not go over with the master. <laughs> and it doesn't go over with our father either. He does not, uh, he, he, he does not, uh, you know, he gathers where he has not sown. And there's a reason for that. We're supposed to be sowing. <laughs> We're working with our father. We're doing what the father's doing. Our father never intended to do everything. Uh, so this idea that you know, there's something left for us to do, a son finds that exciting and engaging, and he's happy to raise his hand and volunteer. So 
there's a sense that the nature of serfdom is that generationally and personally uh, we agree for it okay it's it's in our nature it's in our dna but more than that we uh, submit to that lifestyle and to the oppression that goes with it and there's a love of the deception and the subjugation uh, in serfs that is you know you cannot just talk people out of it you cannot talk you know i was not able to talk myself out of it you know it was it was something that took a course of heaven session to break it off and there's a surrender to uh, things like you know a wrong version of god's sovereignty that translates to being passive and and it's a sort of a false contentment and then there's a version of it that's hyper spiritual it says i'm a spirit or i'm a spirit man and i don't have to produce fruit or finances in this life <laughs> everything i'm doing is on a, on this super spiritual level and there's also sort of a judgmental or prejudice or opinionated or a self-righteous attitude it's a serfs have a fear that other the success of others will unmask my serfdom so serfs believe everyone should be serfs <laughs> so sons are different um, there is this sense of you know walking in a spirit of repentance their path to the to the council goes through the courts of heaven and uh, so that's why I attached the uh, separate article about my own experience in the in the courts regarding serfdom. I think you'll enjoy that. So sons share their father's heart and see themselves as having a piece of the action or a metron. Uh, they know what's in their book. And uh, sons have favor because they go to heaven, they hear strategies, and they get their inheritance. There's a certain uh, boldness or aggressiveness uh, about it. And sons have an inheritance. They have a storehouse that really is in heaven, and, and we can boldly access that storehouse and see what's in it and bring that stuff back to earth. Okay? So, and then sons, you know, serfs have a hard life, and it gets harder and harder as their life goes on. <laughs> Whereas sons go from glory to glory, but uh, sons have hardness or seasons of difficulty in their lives too, but they don't take it personally neither height uh, or success nor depth which is failure can separate them from the father's counsel that's the one thing rain or shine sons do is they show up in the council they see what the father's doing and they hear the strategies in heaven uh, i love psalm 84 5 through 7 where it says every one of them appears before god in zion uh, that's the that's the marching orders for people that are interested in kingdom right now in this season their cups overflow because they give value they spend themselves for people and nations they're not just fellowshipping with their father they're doing what he's doing and that resonates with men um, so there's there's something in our dna that the father is hardwired into us that draws us into his counsel and uh, gives us this longing to be part of the kingdom so take a look at uh, there's a great graphic in this newsletter and uh, also uh, there are two links to uh, related prayer initiatives that i mentioned earlier one where i went through my own courts of seven session to break off the serfdom and the other was uh, intercession for others and it sort of wound its way into prayer for men to, that men we as men would take our place in the in the courts and in the council and in the kingdom and actually make a difference in culture so take a look at those i think you'll enjoy them have a great week father in the name of jesus i'm releasing your people to access the courts and the council of heaven and to bring heaven to earth father to uh, make your name great on earth and i'm lifting up our president I'm lifting up this nation, and I'm asking, Father, for a reformation that would sweep around the world. We lift up the Netherlands and Europe, and uh, Lord, we're excited. I'm going to Berlin in about two and a half weeks, and we'll spend uh, most of a week in the Netherlands as well. Um, just releasing kings, uh, praying in the courts and councils, and teaching people on uh, seers and doers. So if you haven't got a copy of uh, Seers and Doers yet, Take a look. It's worth it. This is a, a great starting place 
for, for you to activate your seer gift and to enter into the, the courts and councils of heaven and bring back your inheritance. God bless. Have a great week. Love you. Thank you.